Hey guys, my name is Antonio, this is Liberty in Brief, and today I would like to talk to you about what's been going on in the world lately. Well, just for starters, Gaza is under attack, but it seems that the world wants you to believe that Israel is the victim here. Now, who fired on who first? We can yell at each other all day about it, but when it comes down to it, we have to look at the numbers. Who's being killed, and how many are being killed? Luckily, we live in the digital age, the age of knowledge, of information. Uh, we can actually check these numbers, these facts. Uh, I'll be sure to leave a link for you to uh, explore uh, this information. But uh, as the data would show, it seems Israel has been taking many more lives. And these aren't just military combatants fighting out of Palestine. These are actually women, um, children, uh, you know, sons, daughters, wives. It's nothing short of slaughter, uh, murder. Uh, these innocent victims, just humans like me and you, living in the wrong country, uh, under governed by the wrong tyrant, basically, or opposing tyrants. These humans uh, caught in the middle of a sociopathic conflict, uh, religious conflict. And you can see uh, this is prime example of what the state is, what the state does, what your tax dollars pay for. This is what religion does, what, what it, it turns us against each other. If you don't want to accept the logical ex or logical reasoning that taxation is theft theft is a violent act this monopoly on violence uh, is not doing good things with your money if you think taxes are for the greater good do you support this do you support the bombing of innocent human beings uh, just so you can have your roads is is this a good fair trade? Is this fair? This foreign interventionist policy that is killing thousands, if not millions of people, depending how far back you want to look. Now, if you wanted to look at this as simply two countries, I guess, going to war with each other, another number or another group of numbers to consider is defense budget. The defense budget of Palestine is roughly $3.9 billion for total defense. And the defense budget of Israel is roughly $57.7 .7 billion. Doesn't seem like a fair game, does it? And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I read that the United States yearly sends about $3.1 billion for Israeli defense. Again, that is $3.9 billion fighting against $57.7 .7 billion. That's nearly 20 times the budget of Palestine. To claim that some holy land is worth all this bloodshed to say that your religion is justified in defending some mytho mythological land is, is insane. For you to support this is insane. For you to passively pay your taxes because you think it's some civil duty when it results in funding this, that is insane. I'm sorry, I I'm going to have to cut this video slightly short. Um, uh, I promise my upcoming videos, uh, I will do my best to try and give you guys, um, I guess, a filled up time slot completely instead of giving, all you, the giving you all these short videos. Um, I had to make this one real quick uh, before I call it a night. Um, thank you very much uh, for watching this short little video.
Uh, also, if you guys would like to help uh, to raise awareness um, about this uh, Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict uh, and support peace in the Middle East, I'm going to uh, leave uh, contact information of a local friend of mine. Uh, she is uh, producing these shirts. Uh, if you would like uh, to make a purchase, I will leave a link um, in order to contact her to make your purchase. Um, and again, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the shirts, they look pretty stylish along with sending a message. Um, it's, a, it's enough. We've, we've had enough of these conflicts, all this unnecessary bloodshed. Um, thank you again for watching. This is Liberty in Brief, and I'll see you next week.